in Christ. May the peace of the Lord be with you and bring you greetings from our Lady of Lords, Grotto of Sonson. Today is the 17th Sunday in ordinary time and I want to reflect with you on the theme, the call to give a part of ourselves for the good of the other for the good of a brother, the call to give a part of ourselves for the good of the other. Beloved in Christ, today's second reading, St. Paul, even in prison, was exhorting the Ephesians community that they should try as much as possible to live a life that is worthy of the calling. That is worthy of, our, of their Christian calling. And it is important that we note that St. Paul was reminding them that they have been called and they are supposed to be one, to be united, because they have been called to share in the one hope, one faith, and they have been baptized in the one Lord, Jesus Christ. And therefore, it is important that in all their daily endeavors, they come to appreciate that call to be one, to be united. And that is what was portrayed in the first and the gospel passage. In our first reading, we hear of the prophet Elisha, who out of what he has received from the generous man also decided to give out to the people. And in our gospel passage we hear of Jesus Christ who received loaves, just some small loaves from a young lad. And out of that he also bestowed it on the group to the point that they all ate and had their fill, and there was even a surplus. Beloved in Christ, today, one thing that is missing in our society is the act of giving, the act of sharing a part of us, our time, our resources, for the good of a neighbor, for the good of one another. But let us take note, it is important that we realize that what Elisha and Jesus Christ shared, they both received it. Beloved in Christ, it is important that we also come to appreciate the fact that all that we have, all that we possess, have been gratuitously granted us by our God. Sometimes we may think that we have worked so much for it. But beloved, it is quite important that we come to appreciate that all our efforts would have been futile if God had not been with us, if God had not granted us the grace, if God had not granted us the good health. And therefore, that which we possess, that which we have, it is important that we also make the effort, the conscious effort, to also grant some, to also give out some, so that humanity will continue to experience that loving God that we are all supposed to propagate. Beloved, today we are called upon to sacrifice a bit of our time, to sacrifice a bit of our resources for the good of the other, to enhance the livelihood of the other so that people will continue to experience God's love. Are we, like Philip in the gospel passage, going to consider the quantum that we possess, the quantity, the amount that we possess, before we give out all the little we have, we will be ready 
to share so that others will also enjoy, will also have some sustenance, will also have some comfort bestowed on them. Beloved, we have received a lot from God. We have received so much from one another. We have all received help. We have all received gifts from one another. It is important that we do not arrogate all to ourselves, but we try as much as possible to also give some to the others so that they will also experience that joy. Today, ask, let us ask ourselves, what do we have? What do we possess? And are we ready? let go a bit of it, let go part of it, so that another will enjoy, so that another will have some peace and some serenity and comfort in their lives. May God assist us so that we will come to appreciate that which we have and also be able to let go some of them for the good of the other. May God bless you and sustain you and grant that his favors will come to them upon all us so that we be lost and to assist one another. God bless us.